Welcome to InfoSpark Hub. Subscribe and press the bell icon for updates. The sun sets over Manila Bay, casting a golden glow on a city bustling with life. The streets are alive with the sounds of traffic, laughter, and the daily rhythm of millions going about their routines. From the high-rise towers to the crowded markets, Manila pulses with energy, seemingly unstoppable and eternal. Beneath the surface, however, a silent threat grows, a geological time bomb deep beneath the ocean floor. Hidden from view, immense forces are at work, shifting and grinding in the darkness, building tension with every passing year. Manila sits on the edge of catastrophe, its fate tied to the restless earth below. The city's foundations are more fragile than they appear, resting atop a region shaped by powerful natural forces over millennia. Far offshore, the Manila Trench marks a collision of tectonic plates building pressure for centuries. This underwater fault line is one of the most dangerous in the world, storing energy that could be released at any moment. Scientists warn, it's not a question of if, but when, this fault will rupture. Decades of research and monitoring have revealed alarming signs, and experts are racing against time to understand the risks and prepare the city for what may come. When it does, a megathrust earthquake could devastate Manila, toppling buildings, shattering infrastructure and plunging millions into chaos. The city's dense population and aging structures make it especially vulnerable to widespread destruction. But the quake is only the beginning. The aftermath would leave streets fractured, homes destroyed, and communities struggling to survive in the chaos. The same rupture would displace massive volumes of water, sending a tsunami racing toward the coast. This wall of water moving at terrifying speed would threaten everything in its path. For Manila and other coastal cities, warning time would be measured in minutes. Sirens would blare and panic would sweep through the streets as families scramble to reach higher ground. Before rescue can begin, a wall of water could sweep away everything in its path. Streets would become rivers, and entire neighborhoods could vanish beneath the waves in moments. This is the stark reality facing millions, living on borrowed time, unaware of the danger beneath their feet. For the people of Manila, the threat is real, and the clock is ticking. What is the Manila Trench? This question is more important than many realize, especially for those living in Southeast Asia. The Manila Trench is not just a line on a map, it's a colossal underwater feature that shapes the fate of millions. It's a massive underwater canyon stretching for over 1,300 kilometers along the floor of the South China Sea, just off the western coast of the Philippines. Imagine a chasm so deep and long that it could easily swallow the world's tallest skyscrapers and you'll begin to grasp its scale. The trench marks the boundary where two enormous tectonic plates meet, the Eurasian Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate. Here, the heavier Eurasian Plate is forced or subducted beneath the lighter Philippine Sea Plate, creating a dynamic and dangerous geological environment. This subduction zone is a site of immense geological conflict, where unimaginable forces are at work. Over centuries these forces build up, storing energy deep beneath the ocean floor, waiting for the moment to be unleashed. The plates don't simply glide past each other, instead they lock together, refusing to move, while stress and pressure mount. When the tension finally becomes too great, the plates snap violently, releasing all that pent-up energy in a matter of seconds. When that happens, the result is a mega-thrust earthquake, one of the most powerful and destructive natural events on Earth. These quakes can reshape entire coastlines and devastate cities in moments. Such earthquakes can reach magnitude 9 or even higher, releasing energy equivalent to thousands of atomic bombs detonating at once. The sheer force is almost unimaginable, capable of shaking the ground for hundreds of kilometers. The Manila Trench runs parallel to the Philippines' densely populated western coast, putting major cities like Manila and millions of people directly in harm's way. The proximity means little warning and enormous risk, but the threat doesn't stop at the Philippines' shores. The seismic danger radiates outward, affecting the entire region. Countries across Southeast Asia are within reach of the devastation a megathrust event could unleash. A megathrust earthquake here could trigger massive tsunamis, sending towering waves racing across the South China Sea. Vietnam, China, Malaysia, Brunei and Indonesia could all be struck within hours, with little time to prepare. Today millions live in the shadow of this trench, many unaware of the sleeping giant lurking just offshore. Coastal communities, bustling cities and vital infrastructure all sit within the danger zone. The region's rapid urban growth and ever-increasing population only raise the stakes. More people, more buildings and more lives are at risk with each passing year. 
The Manila Trench is not just a local hazard, it's a regional catastrophe waiting to happen with the potential to impact millions across borders and coastlines. Understanding this threat is the first step toward survival. By learning about the Manila Trench and its dangers, communities can prepare, adapt, and ultimately save lives when the next big event strikes. The Manila Trench has been eerily quiet for centuries, its deep waters hiding a secret tension that few can sense from above. This silence, stretching across generations is not a sign of peace, but a warning that something powerful is brewing beneath the waves. A silence that alarms scientists. They watch the data with growing unease, knowing that beneath the calm surface, immense geological forces are at work, invisible to the naked eye. Unlike faults that release energy in small quakes, this one is locked, accumulating strain year after year. The plates are stuck, unable to move, causing stress to build up relentlessly along the fault line. GPS data shows the Philippine sea plate pushing westward, building a massive slip deficit. Every millimeter of movement adds to the tension like winding a spring tighter and tighter with no release. All that energy is trapped, waiting for the friction to give way. The longer the plates remain locked, the more catastrophic the eventual release will be. When it does, the seafloor could lurch upward by several meters, displacing vast amounts of water and triggering a tsunami that could race toward the shore in minutes leaving little time for warning or escape. The longer the silence, the greater the eventual disaster. History has shown that such quiet periods often precede the most devastating earthquakes and tsunamis. Predicting the exact timing is impossible. The threat is real, but the clock is hidden. The countdown continues in secret, as the city above goes about its daily life, unaware of the ticking time bomb below. This uncertainty breeds complacency among the public, but for scientists, the warning signs are clear. They urge preparation knowing that disaster could strike at any moment. The region is overdue for a rupture. The pressure has been building for far too long and the risk grows with every passing day. The next quake could be tomorrow or decades away. Time is uncertain but the inevitability of the event is not. But the risk grows with every passing year. More people move to the coast, more lives and livelihoods are at stake, and the potential for tragedy increases. For millions living nearby, the danger is invisible but ever-present. The ocean may look calm, but beneath, the forces of nature are gathering strength. The silence is not safety, it's a warning. It's a reminder that nature's power is patient, but when unleashed, it can change everything in an instant. Imagine a magnitude 9 earthquake striking Manila. The ground convulses for minutes, liquefying soil and toppling buildings. Skyscrapers sway, older structures collapse and infrastructure crumbles. Emergency services are overwhelmed, chaos reigns. But the disaster isn't over, a tsunami up to 15 meters high races toward the coast. Warning time is minimal, evacuation is nearly impossible. The wave smashes into the city sweeping away homes, businesses and lives, the aftermath devastation, disease and millions left homeless. Communication fails, aid is slow and survival becomes the only priority. Recovery will take years if it ever truly comes. We've seen the devastation mega thrust earthquakes and tsunamis can cause. In 2004 the Indian Ocean tsunami killed over 230,000 people across 14 countries. Many had no warning. The lack of a coordinated warning system proved catastrophic. In 2011, Japan's advanced defenses were overwhelmed by a magnitude 9 quake and tsunami, leading to nearly 20,000 deaths and a nuclear disaster. Even the best prepared nations can be brought to their knees. The Manila Trench threat combines the worst of both disasters, a massive, unprepared population and direct hits to major cities. The parallels are chilling. We know what can happen, we've seen it before. The question is whether we'll learn from these tragedies. The time to act is before disaster strikes, not after. The South China Sea region lacks a comprehensive tsunami warning system. Unlike Japan or the US, there's no integrated network of sensors and communication protocols. If a mega thrust quake struck today, millions would have little to no warning. Technology is sparse, and public awareness is dangerously low. Many coastal communities have never practiced evacuation or learned the signs of an impending tsunami. The first minutes after a quake are critical but most people wouldn't know what to do. This gap in preparedness is as deadly as the fault itself. Without urgent investment in technology and education, the region remains exposed. The next disaster could catch everyone off guard. A Manila Trench disaster would shake the world, not just Southeast Asia. The South China Sea is a vital trade route. One-third of global shipping passes through these waters. 
a major quake and tsunami would cripple ports, disrupt supply chains, and send shockwaves through the global economy. Financial markets would tumble, reconstruction costs would soar, the humanitarian crisis would overwhelm any single nation's capacity, millions would need food, water, and shelter, with aid hampered by destroyed infrastructure. Environmental damage would linger for decades affecting food security and livelihoods. The geopolitical landscape could shift as nations struggle to recover. In a globalized world a catastrophe here would be felt everywhere. Despair is not an option. Action is. We can't stop earthquakes but we can prepare. The first step, build a robust tsunami warning system for the South China Sea, with sensors, buoys and cross-border cooperation. Technology must be matched by public education. Everyone in coastal areas should know the risks and evacuation routes. Regular drills and clear signage can save lives. Strengthening infrastructure is critical in force building codes, retrofit vulnerable structures, and protect vital facilities. This requires investment but the cost of inaction is far greater. No single country can do this alone. International cooperation is essential. Wealthier nations and organizations must share expertise and resources. The United Nations can help coordinate efforts and direct aid where it's needed most. The Manila Trench is a global problem. It demands a united response. Preparedness is our best defense. The threat from the Manila Trench is real and growing. We've seen the consequences of ignoring warnings. Now we face a choice. Will we act or gamble with millions of lives? The path of complacency leads to tragedy. The path of action leads to resilience. Building warning systems, educating the public and strengthening infrastructure are urgent priorities. It will take political will, resources and cooperation. The future of the region and the world depends on decisions made today. The final chapter isn't written yet. Will it be a story of loss or of foresight and survival? For millions living in the shadow of the trench, the time to choose is now.